Hey guys, welcome back to Reaping the Dungeon, a.k.a. Dungeon Rogue. Not Dungeon Hack, as I missaid in the first episode. One moment. F1. And load. Jeff 2. Okay, we're back. Alright, um, let me take a look here. Uh, so, I watched that video. I've got four monsters left to kill. I've got... Um, can I adjust this a little bit? All right, let's try that. I've got four monsters left to kill, as far as I can tell, based on watching that video. I've got uh, 13851 is where the thing should be, the store. So a bit to our right. And uh, I looked up the mushroom of visual scanning. It increases our scan range by two in every direction for 100 turns, so we'd be able to see further for a while for mapping purposes. We won't use it just yet. Um... I also noticed, uh, well, I'm, again, trying to fix that plosive uh, effect of my uh, my voice. The problem is I can't hear it in my ears right now. So for all I know, it's absolutely atrocious right now. I also noticed the volume of the game was a little bit low, so I've cranked it up a bit. Um, hopefully it's not uh, now so loud that you're like, Jesus Christ, Jeff, turn that off. And here's, I, I would have guessed the store. Is it? Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay. Inside the store. Now we can sell our copper copper for 1.4. And the silver is selling well too. So let's sell off everything we've got here. We go down to copper. Do we hit enter? Yes, yeah, so let's we'll hold down enter and we'll sell all of our copper. This is a good price, I think. I don't have enough of a, an ability to judge if it gets way better than that, but it seems like a good price to me. All of this as well. All right, we've got 4,000-ish... Um, credits. I noticed the last store was red. This store is blue. Uh, my assumption, therefore, I'm going to turn this down a little tiny bit too. Just a hair. Alright, there we go. My voice might be a slightly quieter, but hopefully it'll spike a little less often. Um, yeah, the, uh, the last store is, store is red and it was selling weapons. This store is blue and it uh, it appears to be selling devices. Uh, I don't know what these devices do, but I think I can look online, can't I? Let's let's look at our... Uh, we do have this um, this wiki. What was what was listed there? Um, visual Boom, Bioswapper, and Energy Dash. In theory, if we were to look at one of those. Visual Boom. Gets 10 charges per charge. Uh, it takes 300 energy to charge it. There's its cost. Weighs 2 kilograms. Its accuracy starts at 85%. The area is scanned while shift is down. Uh, don't know what that means. Does that mean... Uh, oh, unfortunately, I just don't know what that means. What else we got here? Um, area is scanned while shift is down. I don't know what that means. Bioswapper and energy dash. What do those things do? Bioswapper. Swap locations with a creature. That's interesting. doesn't seem all that useful to me, but it's interesting. Um, an energy dash. Run in a specified direction until stopped. I don't know if that... Again, I just don't see the usefulness of this. My worry with the devices, too, is I don't know how to re-equip an old device. I'm not going to spend money on this stuff. I, I couldn't afford any of it anyway right now. But even if I could, I'm not going to. Um, and I don't want to give up my my bioscanner, as far as I can tell, that's absolutely vital to my continuing in life. The oxygen cells are pretty cheap. I could buy a bunch, but it's not quite cheap enough, I think, to merit it just yet. Let me get back into the game proper. All right. Okay. Let's continue. Um, I also noticed I, I kept pointing things out with my mouse in the last video, and you couldn't see it. I was just describing, hey, this thing over here, this thing over here. And there was no visual mouse, visible mouse for you. Um, again, I had to point the mouse at the little tiny window that constitutes the game. And that makes the bigger mouse show up in my OBS Studio window, which is where I'm playing the game. Um, otherwise, I can't see what's going on. Um, but the problem is sometimes I forget and I point the little mouse, the the real mouse at the OBS studio window and there's no mouse pointing at the little 
tiny game and therefore you don't see the mouse got it is that clear <laughs> that seemed a bit cryptic or hard to explain but I hope you got the gist money baby let's go sell all this off while we're here too because then we can free up some weight I assume currency itself like credits doesn't have weight kind of suck if it did can you go to the top yeah all right let's sell off our uh, all of our copper and so on. oh I did that wrong All right, got a little more. Now we could afford... No, we still couldn't afford jack shit. Not gonna anyway. We're gonna save it for a weapon for that stuff, I think. A better weapon. Or oxygen, man. I don't know. I mean, it's not it's not too pricey here. We could go back and buy like a crap ton and, and be safe for a while. Maybe we'll consider that at the end of the level. There, we got 28 oxygen. We don't need any more. One of the worries about, um, I've commented on this before in my Moria run, like around the third episode, with doing one of the longer games is, um, you know, until a new a new species or a new a new thing is introduced, you, you run out of things to talk about with regard to the game. And with Moria, I sort of got in a groove where I started talking about any anything and all that came to mind. Um, and, you know... I covered a lot of topics like game design theory and everything else, but um, how are we doing here? I don't know how many monsters are left, and I don't know if they're accessible. Let's head to the west. We get a lot of stuff to the west we could theoretically cover. I don't know if I've seen that transport yet. We still don't know what this little blue X is. I should the next time we're back near that store, I should check whatever's north of the west of the store is what those blue things are. This might be a plant. You think? I bet you that's a plant. All right, we're not going back there right now, though. We're going. We're gonna go east, then north, then uh, over here, then west, and blah blah blah. I'm suddenly fiercely hungry. Oh wait, we got a little bit, a little bit to explore right here. Let's do that first. There's no point in leaving stones unturned, as it were. Oh hey, not quite yet, sir. Oh, we can look on the map, though. Is that, uh, is that a little gray thing to the north? Let's look there. Two squares to my north. Is there a gray thing? No. Unless it only shows up... Uh... Let me check A when I'm a bit further away to see if, if, if it only shows up when you're further away. And B, let's check... Uh, maybe it only shows up when it's ready to harvest? Let's check now. There's still no gray thing back there, so I don't know. No way to assess what that is. Or what the gray thing is, yeah. We'll probably go and sell this all before we leave, and we might spend it on oxygen if our oxygen is depleted enough. It's it's a good price. It I, I read the tips on the uh you know the page here that the wiki, uh where Ron Hoyce, I think. I, I assume it's him has written his own tips. Maybe not, maybe it's some enthusiast of the game. But they mentioned, you know, if you find out whoa hey. If you f if you find a um, you three of those left, a store that's selling it at 0.5 or 0.6, buy up a lot of oxygen. Maybe all you can. Um, this is 0.7, so not quite the same, but a decent price. All the same, and if I pass it up and I get to the next level and it's uh, you know nowhere near as good a price, well then I'm going to be kicking myself. If I need it, if we, if we get to a point where it's like, if I don't get that oxygen, I'm dead. Which is a very real possibility. I would surmise. It seems like oxygen is probably your biggest threat in the early game. I think as you get that oxygen uh, consumption meter under control, I'm sure the threat diminishes greatly.
Whoa, hey. You dead. I got two of those left. Two monsters left before we get the super awesome mega bonus. As it shall be henceforth known. Okay, how long? 19 turns. That's lovely. Ooh, another one there, too. I'm going to explore the room a bit. I'll only scan it if I if I come back and it's still not turned. I find they're often kind of, as I said, they're kind of in sync often. With other, I'll check it out. Ah, we got to charge it again. All right, so shift R, then shift West. 195 turns. We'll be back. Yeah, it's not a very far teleporter, is it? Encountered the other one just moments ago. All right, let me look at the map. Is there anything close by to explore? A little bit to the southeast, and then we'll go back for that 195 pointer. Or turner. 195 turner and hooch plant. Alright, it's just about time to go back. Let's just finish up this little tiny bit. There's not going to be much here. Alright, back for that plant. Thank you for the oxygen. It's delicious. Maybe I should have used that. I don't know, we're good. Oh, hey. 97 turns. I don't know what happens if you use your bioscanner on a on a monster, say. Do you learn more about it? You know, I have the wiki, so... I hope that's not cheating. I mean, Ron Hoist himself directed me to it to say, you know, you should look here for information. So I assume it's not considered cheating. All right, passing our turn. Oh, good. All right, unless I have miscalculated, we are down to one more monster. I have a pen and paper now, too. Which makes me mighty. Rock crystals. I just want to know. I'm going to check my uh, improve again. And uh, oh, is it always? No, it goes up, eh? 525 crystals now to get it down further. So it's going to keep climbing, which is probably a good thing, obviously. It's helps uh, keep the game in balance, I'm sure. But. But the player who wants to win is like, oh, I wish that was the same price. Well, let's check up here. I don't think we're waiting to go back to a plant of any kind. I don't recall that we are, so I hope we're not forgetting to make a return trip somewhere we were supposed to. All right, well, that's, that's this. Well, let's use the monster searcher outer. And hope to God we don't again get the the statement, hey, you can't find what you're looking for. M. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Okay, so we want to go back to, well, if we go to this transporter, transport down, it should be just the east, and then we should have the bonus, and then we'll continue east to find out what's atop this thing, and what this gray dot is, and to sh sell off our remaining gold and stuff, maybe buy some oxygen, and then we'll head to the red. So... Up to the northeast and blah blah blah. Okay, let's check in every once in a while. Yeah, we'll probably buy the oxygen while we're here. We can't afford, I don't think, to. Uh, we're not going to waste a ton of health on health vents or oxygen vents. Um, let's make sure we don't get lost here. South, then. I got it. I hope. Just 
right? Yep. Oh, there he is. I guess we went directly where we were going rather than to the teleporter. Yeah. So we got 540 credits. Oh, we get to choose one. Is that right? We can choose one of these? Is that what I'm being told? Probably. I thought we got it all. I thought we got it all, baby. That's still pretty good. I'm going to take the health cells for now, I think. Our health is getting a little lower than I'd like, and we're about to buy oxygen. Okay, now we want to go east until we hit a bend, then turn right, then turn left, then turn left. Got it. I hope. It should bring us there, right? Yep. Okay. Well, let's sell off our stuff. And I think we're going to buy the darn oxygen cells. I don't think we can afford to not. We can get over 10,000 again with this. I know we're wasting a lot of money. When we're over 10,000, I'll stop. But at least we'll have a... Uh, well, pardon the pun, we'll have some breathing room. You know what, screw it. Let's spend all our credits on this. Get all the oxygen we can. Oh, cannot take. Total weight would exceed maximum load. Oh! Oxygen weighs stuff? I didn't know that. Okay, that's news. Where's uh, how much treasure's left? Just for the sake of it, we've gotten seventy percent of it. Let's head up towards the uh, drop shaft uh, via this little part we haven't explored here. Oh, we can't take any more. I can't take anymore. We can do this. <laughs> is it worth this, or is this is this just you know getting rid of too much? Uh... Yeah, it's not worth it, is it? I'll waste more money than I get. Darn it! I'm gonna do it anyway because I'm too much of a a cheap ass. I didn't know oxygen weighed anything, so that's. Interesting news, don't you think? We have to increase our maximum load next. Can we do that right now? And is it... Uh, it's pricey here, though. Let's not do it here. All right, let's continue to get out of here. Oh, so that that um, that double uh, that quadruple dot thing on the map was a data chip. So that's what that is. What's this over here? Is it the vent? Perhaps. Seems like that'd be further. Is there a plant over here? No. It might be the vent or. Uh, I am wasting oxygen, man, but I, I don't have a clue what that is. Man. Oh, we got lots there. All right, we're getting some money back. How much do we free up in terms of uh, weight here? And what do we? Is oxygen weigh that? I don't know what the hell just happened. I don't know why we have that much free weight now. Where's my? Uh, I've got 16 kilograms, and I'm a maximum load of 16 kilograms. I must just have a few grams less. I guess the treasure only weighs grams, not kilograms. So, 
All right, good to know. All right, got it. Got it, ish. Let's head down to the next level. Keep this mission going. Let's keep this party going. Yes. Okay. We went right last time. Let's go. Whoa, way less. Left. You are dead. Sweet. Two hundred thirteen turns. Two hundred twenty six turns. I don't want to use that just yet because uh, if I find out where the drop shaft is, I don't want to have to go for it. I want to come back here in two hundred some odd turns. What the hell? That's, that's a, a new type of store, isn't it? Visual orb for showing treasure. Oh, it's a wizard store. I told you there's magic in this. Wizard special. It's on sale. Whatever that means. If you use it, I guess. I guess if you use that, the oxygen cells used per turn will decrease by 50%. Let's check and see what we know about the wizard special. Is there anything we can learn on the uh, on the wiki? It actually doesn't mention anything about the wizard stuff on this page. Devices, creatures, mushrooms. Hmm. So I don't know how to gauge, you know, is that a... I don't think this would be the case, but is there any chance that's a permanent upgrade? Like you're, you know, you permanently take 50% less? Or, or is it when you use it? I would assume it's when you use it. What else can we get? We can get visual orbs from him if we want some. He's selling cells as well, but they're mostly uh, at fair at the full price. And we don't want to sell him any treasure on this map if we can avoid it, because he's ripping us off. We may have to. For now, I don't think we're going to grab that thing, because I just I don't know enough about what it does to to judge if it's a good buy. So, good buy. Okay. Oh, good. He is selling health slightly cheaper than normal, so if worse comes to absolute worse, if our health starts taking a beating, we can go back there and buy that. We have enough raw crystals to do some shit again. Uh, maybe we'll get it up to 280, and then we'll uh, improve our scanning directions a bit. I'm going to go back there in a minute. Not yet. It's too early to go back there, I think. One carat diamond. Well, we're getting some serious treasure now, aren't we? All right, let's head back to the trees. How you doing, trees? Oh, you're good. You're good to go. Cannot take that one because my oxygen will be too much. Then I'll sell off our... Ah, fuck. Ah. I think we have to sell our damn treasure. Or can we? Can we buy? Can we buy a maximum? No, we can't do that here. We could have at the other spot, right? Unless that's a, uh, unless that's a character thing. Let's try and use crystals to improve. Improve our maximum load. Can we do that? No, you actually got to buy it in a store. We should have bought it in the last store because we can't buy it anymore. Shoot. Extract talent. I know what that is. Um, as you get that higher, you get more value from extracting stuff from the plants, the cells. What the tail kick, bite, and claw does, I don't know. Oh, that's protections. You you get protected. You take a, a percentage less damage from claws and from bites and all that stuff. That's what that does. Special talent, I'm guessing. Oh, that's oh, Likewise, those are protections. Uh, some monsters have special talents. So you can get uh, resistances to those five types of attacks. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, we're figuring this out. But unfortunately, we can't improve our weight. So we're going to have to sell. It sucks, but we have to sell our stuff. 
Let's just sell it all. Free up some weight. How's he doing for what? What are, what are these things? The, these things he's selling at better prices, so that's not bad. All right, we have money now, and we have less weight. We don't need that much oxygen, though. I really, I really screwed up in not getting that uh, that upgrade. I didn't know oxygen had a weight. I'm gonna go back up and grab it anyway, or else we're not gonna get our chance. Where the hell is it? All right. How we fix our time? Another four minutes, and we're calling this one quits, guys. This is kind of a cool game. I'm getting kind of invested in it. And again, that's what you want. That's what you want in a game. You want to get invested. What are you? Device charger found. Bioscanner has been recharged. Oh, okay. Put a bunch of uh, points into my bioscanner. That's pretty nice. I didn't know that item existed. That's cool. That's a little power up. Okay, I'll take it. Um, we're close enough. We should probably go back and sell that stuff again. Uh, again, we are mm, we're getting cheated, but if we don't sell our stuff, we can't pick up the oxygen and stuff. So let's sell it all. And learn from my mistakes. Don't uh, don't grab so much oxygen that you can't pick anything else up. That was a huge mistake. Where was this thing? Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, there it is. Can't take it yet. Now I got it. Ooh, what are you? Bone crusher, uh oh. It took three it took four damage, obviously. Is it slow or anything? Can I tell that from the wiki? I'm gonna look at this up. Bone crusher. Has no regular attack, it just has a crushing jaws attack. Uh it only gets to do that it, it moves at normal speed. One speed. Um it only gets to do that that's a special attack. It only gets to do it thirty percent of the time. When it does do it, it does twenty five to forty damage. Um, but most of the time it won't do it. All right. For now, let's just try and hack it apart. Oh, it got us for 26. Jesus. Okay. I don't know if it dropped that treasure. Maybe that'd be kind of cool. Some monsters can drop treasures. Bone Crusher. There's a um, there's a movie called Island of Terror, and like this game, which has two names, game goes by Reaping the Dungeon and also Dungeon Rogue. Um, that movie has two titles. It goes by Island of Terror or sometimes Night of the Silicates. It's an old old horror movie. I watched in like the Saturday morning creature feature when I was a kid, and I've since located it and have it on disc. Um, by it stars Peter Cushing, I think. All right, the thing relocated. Um, but it ha it's about a bunch of monsters on an island. Uh, and these monsters look like... They kind of look like moving lily pads with stalks that they whip at you. And when they grab hold of you, they, they suck all the bones out of you. We used to call them the Bone Crushers, as my brother and I called it. We actually called the movie the Bone Crushers for the longest time because we, we couldn't remember the title. Um, so that's what I think of when I see those things. Fun movie. I mean, not, not by today's standards, it's it's a bit, you know, weak in the visual effects department, obviously, and uh, and it, it it has a slower action pace. It was probably made in the '60s, and there was different uh, expectations of an audience back then than there is now. So it's no Jurassic Park, but uh, still a somewhat fun movie. You can find it. All right, guys, I think we're gonna call it quits right here. Let's just uh, grab that and grab this and grab this and let's grab all this treasure. We should consider going back and selling our treasure. Oh, let's kill this thing too. How many creatures we got left? Let's uh, 
No, let's find out where the drop shaft is. When we return, we will seek it out. I'll write it down. 160 by 70. DS. 160, 70. Okay. I think I'm done for the night. But uh, y'all have a good day. And, uh, yeah, I'm losing my voice. And I've got another audition tomorrow. Um, I'll see you when I see you. Have a good one.